Today I'm going to show you how I created this vampire in a bloodbath. It is heavily inspired by a beautiful concept art by Miles Tevez. I'm going to start by making my hair slightly darker at the roots as I like the idea of having a darker haired vampire rather than a blonde haired vampire. So I'm using some alcohol paints and brushing them through my hair and they will be waterproof for the bath portion of this tutorial. That's kind of a weird thing to say. Anyway, I've cut around my vampire brow and I'm ready to stick it down onto the waterside paper. Once I have firmly pressed the prosthetic into the waterside paper, I can remove that clear acetate backing and then it is ready to be applied. But before I apply it, I am going to adhere my brows down just so that they're quite flat against my face to make application a little bit easier. Now I'm going to position the prosthetic above my forehead. You want to make sure you've got it in the correct position before pressing down as it's very sticky and if you put it in the wrong position, Position, it's going to be very hard to reposition it. The next step is grabbing a water soaked paper towel and pressing that into the water side paper. This works in exactly the same way as temporary tattoos. You soak the paper and then it slides right off leaving the brow prosthetic in place. As I'm removing the water side paper the prosthetic is gripping it just a little bit so I'm using that wet paper towel to push the prosthetic back down onto my face. Now to blend out those edges, I've got a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on some cotton tips and I'm just going to pull away and blend out any excess prosthetic material around that vampire brow. And just remember to be very gentle and slow while working around eyelids just because the eyelid skin is quite thin and sensitive. Once you finish blending out the edges of the brow, it's going to look a lot more realistic. This is quite a nice prosthetic as it has that nice translucency of skin and it moves really well with the face. Before I color my brow prosthetic, I am going to put my foundation base down just so that I get a good idea of, of what the overall color of my face will be and then I can work out how much I need to adjust the coloring of the brow. I do avoid putting foundation over the brow prosthetic just because the foundation does sit differently on a prosthetic as it does to skin. I'm going to buff out that foundation with a sponge and then I'm going to put some concealer underneath my eyes and on the blemishes on my chin. If you have any areas around the edge of the prosthetic which aren't as smoothed out as you would like, you can stipple on a layer of thickened adhesive and this will help to smooth out the appearance of the edges of that prosthetic. While that adhesive is drying, I'm going to powder my face to set my concealer and my foundation. And then I'm going to put a mattifying sealer over the prosthetic brow. This will take away any stickiness and it will help the makeup to sit more naturally on top of the prosthetic. Because the prosthetic is quite translucent, you may still see your eyebrows showing through. So if that happens, you can counteract the color by using a pastel orange on top and then spattering your base color over the top of the whole brow piece. I'm using alcohol paints for this. So if your brow color is still coming through a little bit like mine are here, you can pat on another layer of color. This time I'm going for something a little bit closer to my skin tone. And then I'm going to continue spattering paint on top of that brow piece just to try to disguise it all and make it all look like it is my skin. I want to extend the shape of that prosthetic and bring it further down my nose. So I'm going to crinkle up my nose to work out where my natural creases will be. And then using a shadowy gray alcohol paint, I'm going to draw in those lines to fake those shadows. In order to keep this subtle and natural looking, I am going to go over the top of those lines with a clean brush with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol just to soften it all and make it look more natural. Now I'm going to add some light veining over my whole face to get that creepy, pale, translucent vampire skin look. So I've got a really thinned down, transparent, light blue vein tone in my alcohol paints. And I'm going to draw these veins all across my face. Now I'm going to add in some contouring. So I start with the normal cheek contouring color, but then I put a purple over the top to make this look a little bit more interesting. Next I apply some eye primer and then I go in with some pink eyeshadow and I apply it over my upper eyelid, blending it out over the top of the brow bone and then going underneath on the lower eyelid as well. Next I add in a red eyeshadow, again going underneath the eyes on that lower eyelid and then bringing it up into the crease of my upper eyelid and then blending it out. I also wanted to add that contour color on the side of my eyes, kind of going towards the temple. So I put down some of that brown contour color and then a purple eyeshadow over the top. Off camera, I put in my scleral contact lenses and because I didn't put the lenses in until I'd applied the base for the makeup, I have some repair work that I need to do because putting in scleral contact lenses can be quite difficult. I have to hold my upper eyelid open when I insert them, which pulled at the bottom of my prosthetic and lifted it a little bit. Because of this, I would recommend putting in lenses beforehand if they're lenses that you can see through easily enough to apply the makeup. But for now, I'm going to patch the bottom of my prosthetic where it's lifted. I'm going to stipple a layer of thickened adhesive over it to smooth it out. I'm also going to reapply my foundation, my contour and my eyeshadows. So I put some more bright pink and red eyeshadows over the top of my eyes and underneath my eyes trying to keep it fairly blended out on the edges. I also added in a little bit more purple at the end underneath my eyes along that tear trowel line 
and then up along towards the temple as well. And then blendy blendy blendy. I'm also going to apply a little bit of black eyeliner, mostly tight lining between my lashes. I don't want it to be super obvious, but I want to add a little bit more definition to the eyes. And then I put on my mascara. Then to finish off this Glampire beauty makeup, I'm going to apply some dark purple lipstick. And to clean up the edges of the lip line, I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. To complete the look, I pop in some vampire teeth that I made and I take my hair out of its ponytail. And I am ready to bathe in the blood of my enemies. To create the bloodbath, I used a giant bottle of non-staining blood into some warm water, which ended up being quite lukewarm by the time I got in there. And I added some guar gum to thicken it so that it looks more viscous like blood and not just like red water. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you soon in the next video.